SNST UST because it's one of the reputed university in Taiwan. It's among the top university. And the kind of knowledge, the kind of technology they use, the kind of extracurricular activities they have, the kind of faculties they have that has a good influence on my brain. So yeah, I've decided STUST by searching a lot and comparing with other universities. Back when I'm doing undergraduate in India, my university suggested me to go exchange student in Taiwan. So I asked them about some universities and they suggested me STUST. So I learned that from my seniors that STUST is a good university. So I came here for exchange student for six months. After I finished my undergraduate, I came back here as a master's student and I also graduated that master's last year and now I'm currently doing PhD under the same professor. Before coming to Taiwan, I I was uh, skeptical about Taiwanese food and everything because uh, because I didn't know which uh, like food and everything. But after coming here, I was pretty much fastly adjusted to Taiwanese food and uh, environment. And uh, STUST is a very nice place with very good env good environment. So uh, I pretty much like here in STUST. Uh, I've been receiving a STUST scholarship which is provided by our university to the international students. And yeah, I also have uh, allowance from my professor, so it's good enough. After coming here, I've searched a lot of part-time jobs, so you can get a lot of part-time jobs here. I'm working as an English teacher in the cram schools nearby, uh, which is pretty good. Professor is uh, uh, Professor J M Ling from Electrical Engineering Department, and yeah, he's a very good advisor. He helped a lot. Uh, he helped me a lot in my thesis regarding electric vehicles, and yeah, he also gives a pretty good allowance. Lectures in our universities are really interesting. Even our professors, they are also very interesting because. Uh, I think that the materials they use for teaching or uh, their teaching aid is really interesting as well as you can meet some interesting people in the class and uh, the teaching way of the professors are so natural. My advisor here is so so helpful for me, he's very helpful for me that uh, always my research path is always enlightened and enriched by his knowledge and he always he is always there to guide me in my research work even though it's three o'clock in the midnight or four o'clock in the early morning if i have some problem in my research work he will reply me immediately so i have chosen my advisor in third semester after i have searched a lot of advisor so she is her name is professor huang professor jen huang my major is quite different but she is a professor who is quite helpful for the student and always push me to do good things and do a, and write a good research paper so whenever i just go to her she is always so helpful for me even she told me that you you think that i am a mother to you i am a second mother to you even if you require any kind of personal help or any professional help i am always there for you so yes, even the advisor is also good. Before coming to Taiwan, I had no idea about Mandarin and I had no idea about Chinese as well. So after coming to here, uh, in my internship program, it was very difficult for me to find the food on the Nantai Street because uh, everyone, they cannot speak, uh, I mean the store owners, they cannot speak Chinese. And uh, whenever I go there, they say, 什么, 什么, 你要什么, 你要什么? 但是, 
<laughs> and I'm I'm hungry. I don't know how to say. I don't know how to order the food. And uh, I was like, okay, I have to learn Mandarin. So I got some uh, S2ST offered us free uh, Mandarin classes. In that classes, I learned a lot. And our Chinese teacher, oh my God, she is so really good that uh, she just forced you to learn Chinese, but in a really good way. As, as, as of now, I can speak, uh, I, can, I cannot say that I'm good in Mandarin, but uh, this is a uh, high hao, high buto, because uh, I just can't communicate with the people uh, on the street or with the, my friend. So, and when I go to buy some food and, uh, and they, talk to, they try to talk to me in, in English because I'm a foreigner here. So they will ask me, uh, what do you want? And then I said, uh, and they were like, oh, you can speak Chinese. So I said, go on. And then uh, I can order the food by myself. Right now I can communicate in a better way than three years before.